Okay, so now we are on the back inside cover of the album. So real simple. So first you're going to be doing some color blocking with these papers. You are going to put a seven inch wide piece of this from, this is from the 12 by 12. This is seven inches long. You are going to center it in the middle. So find the center of your back album inside cover, find the center and cut a seven inch page, find the center of your designer paper, and then just adhere it from top to bottom. So top all the way to the bottom. That is going to be the center piece. Then you're just going to be filling in the sides with this blue paper, the blue dotted paper, oval paper from Patterns and Solids. Have your ovals go up in this direction. So you're just going to fit them to size. Mine, I mean, I have a little bit of black reveal in between this paper and the blue dots. My blue dots are essentially not one sixteenth less than one and a half inches. But you measure yours to see what yours is. And obviously, this is um, an eight, eight inches tall, so this is going to be seven and seven eighths inches tall. All this is seven and seven eighths inches tall. Make sure you ink those pages and get them down. So that's going to be your back cover. This paper and the blue oval. Inked, adhered down. Then you're going to make a little flip up. So what I did in my stash, I had this. It was by five and a half inch wide piece of cardstock. If you do not have anything that looks like this, you can use any yellow, any yellow from this collection you can use. You can use the heart if you like, any yellow that you want. So this piece, which is four and a quarter inches tall by five and a half inches wide, is going to be mounted on black cardstock that is eight and three quarter inches tall. Eight and three quarter inches tall. Where's my camera? Eight and three quarter inches tall by five and five eighths inches wide. So this is gonna be black cardstock. You're gonna put it in your score and you are going to score it with the eight and three quarter inches side up. You're gonna score it at four and three eighths and you're going to fold it. Then you're going to attach this four and a half, four, four, and, four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of yellow cardstock. So you're going to attach that to the front. So go ahead and adhere that down, whichever one you want. And then you need to adhere whatever piece of paper you want on the back side. Same exact dimensions. You need to adhere that down. I forgot to, and it was, it was, oh my gosh, it was awful. So go ahead and figure out the paper you want in the front and another paper in the back. What I used is a mess because I made a mess. I used the solid red and then the green polka dot. But the only reason I did this is 
because I forgot I went ahead and cut my this hole just with the top part in and then I forgot to add this part and I had to recut the hole and it just made a mess. So that's why I'm saying adhere this yellow piece up front, whatever yellow cardstock you want up front, and then adhere whatever cardstock you want in the back. That way, when you run it through your die cut machine, you can put what, what, wherever you want that die cut. This is like one and, what did I say it was? One, between one and a half and one and three quarters inch diameter circle. So I put it in the center and I run it, ran it through my die cut machine. This was the image I wanted to put in this little peekaboo card. So I picked the image I, I want I wanted. You can pick whatever image you want. You can make this hole bigger. You can place it higher up. It just depends what image you, you're trying to align. So mine's going to be something like that when I get it adhered. So that was what I was kind of going for, a peekaboo. Peekaboo card. So that's how I'm going to put mine. So once you have this card stock adhered, just make it yellow. And then you have another card stock that you want to put in the back. Same dimensions. Run it through your die cut machine, your circular die cut machine. You can have one and three quarter inch. You can have a two inch hole circle diameter cut. It just depends on what you're looking for. So once I got that done, I decorated it with a chipboard element that says, you are my sunshine. I put that back on another circle die cut. Or maybe I just punched that with a, a punch, my circle punch. But I wanted it to pop out, so I put it on the red. Just to pop it out, put you are my sunshine. And I pulled out this little butterfly from, I think it was the ephemera pack, that you get with the bundle. And I kind of ink the edges on this butterfly and put it down. So they're kind of butterfly here. You are my sunshine, which is what this whole card is about. You are my sunshine. And then it's going to have a magnetic closure. So what you're going to do is do not adhere this part down yet because you need to you need to add a magnet up here. So after you've put this down, you're gonna add a magnet, small basic gray magnet here, transfer its, its mate down here. There's my magnet. I covered it with uh, black construction tape. And then I covered this magnet with this little piece also from the ephemera pack, I just kind of inked the edges and had it so it's like kind of like a pull tab down here. And in the front, I just added some more yellow. I think I just added my heart yellow down here. And added just a little blue dot to make it pop. Just a little tiny blue down there. So that's what that looks like, if you see the detail there. So this is our little pull tab. This is hiding the magnet right in here. I had to do all this because I made a mess of cutting the hole a second time because I didn't do it right, but you're going to do it right. Um, but I thought this was nice to cover up my boo-boo. I just cut out this to, to 
because I made a mess in here. And then I'm just going to adhere this down, down here. And that's, that's it. That's going to go down here. I love that little picture. It's going to be like that. And that's how I'm going to be ending my, my album with You Are My Sunshine. Okay, now we're going to do the inside album cover. So this is just going to be a pocket. So this is my eight by, this is eight by 10. This is going to be acting as the back of here. This is eight by 10. We are going to make this pocket. This is a four inch pocket. So let's start with this. So we're gonna add our pocket here. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out with your black cardstock a piece that is nine inches tall by four and a half inches wide, and then you're going to score it a half an inch on all three sides. You're going to fold and burnish all the way around on three sides. And then you will be adding your score tape and you will be mitering the corners. So I am going to go ahead and add my score tape and miter my corners and I will be right back. So I mitered my corners, mitered the top here and you remember, you're only going to be adhering the bottom part. Oh, I should have dry fitted it to make sure it does fit. Yes, it does. Always dry fit to make sure it fits. It does. So I'm just going to pull that score tape out at the bottom. I should, I should always get it started before I do that. Okay, where are you, score tape? Come on. Okay. So... That there. That's good. So here it's going to be real important. You put your black construction tape, which I would do, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste it. But I'm going to put Scotch tape. If you don't have black construction tape, you can put scotch tape. So this is going to be real important because we are going to be making a little booklet that's going to go in here and it ha you have to make sure it does not get hung up and get hitting this lip. Do not adhere these. Just leave it like that. So there's the pocket. Next, we are going to make, be making this little policy envelope. So this, our library envelope, whatever they call this, this little um, library envelope. So what you're going to do is you're going to get some black card stock and you are going to cut a piece two and five eighths inches, mine and frame, two and five, oh my gosh, two and five eighths inches wide by six inches tall. Two and five eighths inches wide by six inches tall. You're going to put it in your scoreboard. You are going to score it at two and three eighths, one eighth, two eighths, two and three eighths. And then you're going to score at a quarter of an inch. So this is a quarter of an inch here, down the sides, a quarter of an inch. And then flip it 
and another quarter of an inch. this out of the way. So next you're going to fold this. You're going to fold and burnish. Now what you're going to do with these quarter of an inch strips. So let me show you the way this is going to work. You are going to cut out on this long piece. You are going to cut this out. So you're going to cut all this out. Make sure I'm in. You can see you're going to cut all this out. This quarter of inch piece. You're going to cut it out, out to the score line. Cut this out. You're going to cut it out to the score line. So let's just cut that out. Let me get my scissors. So you're going to cut along that score line here so you get to that score line right there. Same thing with this side. Oops, I'll do it on this side. So you get to that score line. Once you get to that score line, you're going to Go right above that score line. Am I am I in frame? Yes. You're gonna go up. Here's this. Here's gonna be your little pocket. You're going to do a little miter right here. You're going to go to that edge right there and do a little miter. Come around this side, and you're going to miter. Hopefully you can see that miter and cut. So it should look something like that. Now with these, you're going, these little quarter inch strips, you're going to fold them. Fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. And then you're going to add score tape and bring it up like this. But before you do that, if you want to do, get your um, circle punch and punch this out. So it's like this. Get your circle punch. So let me get my circle punch. Well, it looks like um, I didn't re I didn't push my record button um, when I finished this up. So, so I was going to get my circle punch. I got to my three quarters of an inch circle punch. Found the center of the pocket here. And just punched it. You all know how to do that. Just punched it. And that made our little circle. And the way I decorated this pocket, the front piece here, so just this front piece right here, I actually used, see the butterfly and the little clovers in the bee here? I used this image right here from the Sunshine and Happiness journaling card. I just like that, so I put it there. You, you can put anything you want there, but that's what I put there. I put one-eighth of an inch score tape here. And just pulled it and adhered it down. On the back side of my little pocket, I used the red heart paper. This red hard paper, just cut it to size and slipped it under about a half and a one and a half inches down, well, to about right here. So that was the back side of the card. 
Now you do not adhere this. So once you've get it, get it made the way you like it, you do not adhere it until you put this forget me not paper, which is the backside of this 12 by 12 paper. So this is 12 by 12 paper. This is just the backside of this paper. So go ahead and ink and cut this out to size. So it's going to be, this is a four inch pocket. So it's going to be three and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. So put that forget me not paper and then you're going to adhere your pocket. Now the pocket goes, I think, what is it? It is essentially three quarters of an inch up from the bot from the base of the album. So you have your pocket adhered three quarters of an inch and it's centered. You're just going to center it to the pocket. And for this little card that I made, the insert that goes in here, I just got this You Are My Sunshine card and I folded it. I just folded it. I glued it together, burnished it real well, glued it together, rounded the corners here, inked it all up, and that's going to make that little insert. You may need to trim it just a little bit if it doesn't slide in real easy, but hopefully it should slide in like this. So here I'm going to leave this part open. So my granddaughter, I'm going to be putting her name here and I'm going to be writing a little message to her here and the date that I gave her this little album. So that's going to slip in there. So I forgot to do that. So our, our, it didn't record. So now you know how to finish off this pocket. Next, we're going to be doing this piece. So we still haven't adhered this pocket down. Next, you're going to find this paper. This is on the back side of Forget Me Not paper. You are going to cut a piece of paper. Now, the only reason I have this, this little strip of ladybugs at the top, the only reason is because this paper was too short. I did not have a piece that was seven and seven eighths inches tall. So I had to add that little strip of ladybugs. And remember those ladybugs come from this paper. So I filled in that extra space with my ladybugs. And then I continued it on into the gusset when I added this piece. But if you want to add the ladybugs, it's just a little extra step. Like I said, the only reason I added it is because this. I didn't have enough. So measure this out. If you want to add your ladybugs, do that strip first and then cut this down to size. And then you're going to be putting it into the envelope into this pocket. Now, there's going to be a booklet that goes in this pocket. We're going to be making a booklet. You do not have to make a booklet with pages. This is going to be my little booklet. It's going to say, um, I'm not sure what it's going to say. It's either going to say, just grandma and me. Grandma loves me. It's going to say something about grandma and my granddaughter. I'm going to have a little thing here and I'm going to add a bunch of pictures of her and me in through throughout here and I'm going to be writing her little notes. And every time I come visit her, my plan 
is to write her a note, like we're going to be going for now for um, Easter. I'll put the date and I'll write her a little note. That's that's my plant. So every time I go over, I'm going to be writing something in here. It's going to be like little grandma, grandma's journal that sits in here. Now, when you pull it out, it's actually catching on this paper a little bit because I just put it in like a half an inch down. And then when I pull this out, it's getting caught. So let me show you something. So if this was your designer paper, which is this paper, and you cut it seven and seven eighths inches tall because you have enough, or if you want to use the ladybugs, that's fine too. So you get this here. If you want, you can have it go extend down to the pocket, but that's, that's wasting a lot of paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it about, let's see, I'm going to cut it about, let's see, well, you can cut it, what is that? That's about eight and a quarter inches. So let me cut that. Eight and a quarter inches, eight and a quarter inches. I'm just trying something. I don't even know if this is going to work. Eight and a quarter inches. So if I adhere this down, so I'm just going to use some art glitter glue to get it down just to try. Like I said, normally I use score tape but just to get this down real quick. If I got that down, what I was thinking, I could put my black construction tape over this end too. So when I put in my booklet, it doesn't catch on this designer paper. So this is your designer paper. Because when you, what happens is the booklet goes in This booklet's going to go in okay, but it's it's going to bump up on this piece right here. At least mine catches. So I'm going to put, I'll just put scotch tape. Because I don't want to waste my black construction tape. And I think that will prevent it from catching. Yes. So it's still hitting that a little bit. Hmm. Let's see if I do one more. I might as well have just put the, the designer paper all the way down and then use the black construction tape at the end. So that's not catching at all. So that's what I wish I would have done. I'm thinking of pulling out my pocket just because I don't like it catching, but... 
it is what it is. So once this is all done, you got your designer paper in here, go ahead and pull the score tape for your pockets. And like I said, you just don't want, if you're going to be building a booklet like me, you don't want it catching in here at all. So now we can close it up and that page is going to be done. We just need to be making this booklet, but we'll be doing the booklet at the very end with the final embellishments. So I think that's it for this page. Not very complicated, just a pocket library envelope. And getting the designer paper in, and that's it for the inside um, front album cover.